Okay, thank you. And hello, everyone. I'm Mars. I'm from Hex One Networks Taiwan. And now I'm going to start with uh, today's talk about the critical attack vectors and the idea uh, defense strategy for ISS and SCADA security. So we are realizing you know, the real environment um, or something happening in the real environment because many people don't know the real things in ICS, in the real ISS environment. And also we are talking about IC security and everything about IC security, but very, very abstract. So we want to highlight the real things. So today we will um, go through some uh, real IC environment case study and we visited it and we perform some management penetration testing or we perform the security ass assessment on layer. So we want to highlight some um, security attack vectors and we propose an um, attack um, defense strategy. So, um, before we talk about style, before we are uh, going to today's talk, um, please allow me to introduce the TX1. And actually, the TX1 network is a joint venture company by Tromicro and Mosa. And Tromicro is a, has 30 years um, cybersecurity defense uh, uh, intelligence um, technology. And Mosa has um, 30 years of um, plus or OT network and enterprise advertising agency. So we combine land and that is TX1. And I'm Mars, and is a third researcher at TX1 Networks. And now I'm also I'm spoken at uh, many conferences such as Black Hat, Hackling Box Conference, Hikong and Scutur and some conference. And also I'm the um, general coordinator of Hikong 2021, hacking the Taiwan conference. That is a very sub famous cybersecurity conference in the Asia Pacific. And also my colleague Yan Ting, he also is a third researcher at TX1 Networks and he will give us um, some uh, many um, in-depth analysis on the real case study literature. So today's outline. Briefly, uh, first I will uh, briefly introduce the ICS and SCADA security three situation and overview. And then we are narrow down to the practical attack factors for modern ICS SCADA environment. And today we have um, some case about the power, water and, uh, and the oil and gas industry. And, that's one, and we will talk about a common defense strategy for how to securing and your um, IC environment, and this conducted by the our and uh, those activated we based and we it's something real we uh, we we realize that. And first things, IC and SCADA search overview, and recruiting the IC search um, advisory. We know um, in the left side we know the from 10, 2010 to the um, number of advisories rising year by year. But sometimes um, only an advisory number cannot represent to the, the, um, the real severity and of the, um, some, something real in, in the ICS site. So we conducted the interim analysis about the CV number, CVE count. So according uh, also the, from 2010 to now, the, the number of the, the, uh, the CV number is also year, uh, is rising year by year too. So we know like in 2020, like get the very highest number is 700 vulnerabilities about ICS. Uh, vulnerabilities is very high level, very high numbers. And also we created in the into the um based on CVSS um based on CVSS um um uh, um um severity and we know the um about almost 20% vulnerability about ICS are critical level and almost 40% vulnerabilities are high risk level. So we know that because sometimes um, if you are at least vulnerability is critical or high risk level, usually these are very easy to exploit by the attack or at least very low skill to exploit. And also make usually make and this vulnerability can make a huge impact on real access environment. So the severity is very um, crit critical and we need to focus. And also just quickly go back, uh, back to review some um, um, the past event for from 20, from, from 20 um, 2010, first things is strong and it's very powerful things. Also the use the USB driver into the business network and spring the, uh, the, the, the malware to the LAN network to with the, the vulnerabilities and try to connect to CNC server and update the um, standard version. And then uh, and, uh, and also compromise the remote computer running the, um, the Windows 60 database server. And with the hardcore credential and try to log into the Windows server, Windows data, Windows CC database server, hardcore credential. And in that time, the attacker already can successfully to control and then upload any program they want to the, the real POC. And they can modify the um, program and the, the change the frequency converter, the, the change the uh, frequency speed from high speed to low speed to high speed. 
and like a huge, like, like, make a huge impact. And there's various uh, critical things and in 2010. And also many things, many people will have very interesting about unless um, it's happening 10 years ago, but it's possible to happen in the 2020 or 2021. And also some research we highlight and try to reproduce the started in 2020. And we know in the, in the, 2020, in the 2010, they use the five vulnerabilities, uh, like the RNK vulnerability, RPC vulnerability, or test manager, or Win32 K, and any vulnerabilities. But in today, they can reproduce those uh, standard scenario with other vulnerabilities, like um, other vulnerability to try try to reproduce the standard event. And also this researcher also pr proposed the real the real date with the, in the left size folder real date. They want to make sure they want to make the standard can happen in 2020. So also, even this event already began like 10 years ago, but we need to start and we need to take some folks in this, this point. And also in 2015, the Ukrainian and Power Guard on cyber, cyber, cyber from cyber attack and from the phishing email and into the business network and connect to CNC and perform the remote uh, access to the, uh, with the VPN credential to the control system network and try to uh, control the remote, um, as, uh, remote um, substation and with the um, remote access tool and in the, within 30 minutes and like um, over uh, over 50 uh, remote station to um, our age to break down. And also upload the malicious firmware to zero to Eastern gateway. And it, after step five, um, the network already be, cannot be um, goes to the, the traffic. So the operator cannot reach the um, network to control the monitor to review everything. So they need to handle the side by side and on silent. And so also, Attacker um, in step six, an attacker used the modified key of disk malware to erase um, max boot and try to uh, delete everything in the HMI in the North Station and use the UPS um, with schedule um, service um, RH with the UPS system. And then in that time, operator already don't know how to recover their system, so they uh, they, they call out and but however the, the telephone will also be suffered from the um, denial of telephone denial of service attack so they want to delay the, the recovery time and it's very um in deep attack in the 2015 and also in 2017 um the, the mail wing store tried to embed edge mine connect to cnc and then they use the ISIS protocol try to perform the oncoming ingestion or something else with the power industry like IS-101 and IS-104, and they use the power industry protocol, try to perform the, the attack uh, with the power grade. And also this event also um, makes the sound um, 75 minutes um, how it age to with the power can use and be used. So it is also um, happening in very serious things. And also this year, we know the, the Florida water treatment plan also suffer from cyber attack with the remote S2, like um, team, uh, the, the, the team viewer or the other um, based uh, remote S2 world. And also they, they deliver some, um, you know, changes some value, some perimeter in the, the, the treatment plant. So also some make, make some um, huge impact too. In May um, 2021 this year, also I, I believe that many people know this, um, the Kronia, um, pipeline attacks and this very very big um, um pipeline company in the U.S. East. So um, they also they deliver the uh, five um of U.S. East Coast refinery product demand. So it's very very big company. But however, they do the production precision in, in with the pipeline like this. So in, in the Corona pipeline tech phone, and they deliver they trans transform the, the the oil the some uh the pipeline things. And they try to um deliver this production. But however, they suffer from the, um, the cyber attack, the ransomware attack um, with the, with, with the, uh, on the, the dark side ransomware. And also uh, on May 7th, um, the system was forced to shut down operators as a, a safety uh, and safety due to the ransomware attack. And May 9th, the President Joe Biden declined a state of emergency. And also not only the ransomware encrypt your data, the attacker also steal the data about 100 gigabyte and try to, and, and still lost data and deploy it to the uh, uh, dark web and dark net and they try to ransom the 4.4 uh, million USD dollars and they, they try to act to the pipeline pay it. It's taking time to ransom. And also 
we know the dark side ransomware is very um, um, general, very uh, um, famous um, ransomware in, this, in today. So also we want to highlight some the, the common to dark side ransomware attack path in this moment. And also first things the attack need to try to exploit and fix email with the uh, public facing application or um, try to send the phishing email to the, 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 the colonial pipeline company employees or and then and they attack try to into the uh, company's company network and they try to uh, to look with credentials as like a uh, mini cards or a uh, they try to some steal some credential and they want to discover the active active directory server they try to shunt with the 85 um is tool they want to find an active directory server because if you attack can compromise active directory server they can successfully to take over everything in, in the domain in the English company and they can drop the medicine where easy to uh, in one time and then and then make a huge impact in one time in the short moment. And also they like, will try to later move them with the uh, PS execute. And then come in and control and to do the uh, curve stride and or IMS remote and then tools to come in and control and drop the ransomware and try to bypass some um, defense in relation or PC tool or the power of tools tools. And, and let's step and is they try to ransom and they try to data, steal your data with the assembly for um, make a client and uh, about 100 data, 100 gigabyte data, they, they steal it. So it's very dangerous things and we need to know that it's ransomware. But however, the most things is this ransomware happened and it's covered in the um, OX 2020, 2020. It's not a newest new ransomware. So everyone or every critical infrastructure show have the capacity to prevent this attack also. And including the real access um, thread in the global in the network, in the, in the global network uh, also, just one view the, the three intelligence systems that we capture, we try to hunt the real access protocol attack. And we find one thing is uh, the protocol, access protocol track traffic is, is increasing like a session IP for wrong things or means which mail stack or even ice one for this, uh, this, this protocol for um, powering three or a uh, mobile bus. And also we know the, um, in this part, and we also um, realize and um, real re analyze um, those um, PK from the attack view, from the attack side. So according, so we, we conduct a small summary about the root link this moment, the, the nowadays ICS data um, security service situation is, we know the vulnerability are most critical and high risk level. And second one is the number of vulnerabilities rising by year. So attacks have, have many, many useful tool, have many resources can be can used to uh, try to attack or try to compromise that. And also the security accident usually have a huge impact like uh, like a Starnak or um, a Black Energy 3 or Dark Side or somewhere. And also I said SCADA are not secured at all according to our unreal and recent real interview with the Lowe's ICS guide. And also the interview analysis we, we will um, perform later and then he will be giving us some talks. And also we conduct this and we know the ICS situation is very critical, very, very critical. So all we know that you will be, you will be um, very curious about, you're very curious about um, the attack to how, how to perform the real attack vectors and promote ISIS data security systems. So um, I, I, I believe like Yenting, I have a hang over to Yenting and he will talk about some um, real case study. Hello. Hi, I am Yan Tin, like the previous speaker, I am researcher at the TX1 Network. For this part, we will talk about the particular attack vector for modern ICS. Most of the material here come from our um, exercise experience and uh, what we've seen in the real ICS environment. We will also show some sample of their network architecture, vulnerability, and the potential risks. Our first case is a waste water filter system. In general, the system location is usually in a suburban area. For this reason, one system is usually managed by only a few people, particularly when the system is in annual maintenance periods. It may only have one security guard securing more than 10,000 square meters of worksite. 
and uh, due to distance, employee could use uh, VPN to operate the system. Now let's focus on the factory itself. Frankly, the network architecture is simple. It includes Windows 7 for HNI and the commuter cat with, with Zenith PLC over Modbus TCP. Additionally, there is a printer on the network. A few key points about this. In our past research, we found an amount of personal information in critical infrastructure is leaked on the internet. It is possible for attacker tagging an employee to a phishing or waterhole attack to get VPN credential. Moreover, because of the factory's small staff and the large size, uh, attackers may have an opportunity to enter the factory directly and uh, use the printer's uh, either cap to connect to the network. In our exercise experience, we even found that they had switched using the default password. This condition could allow attacker to paralyze the system. As aforementioned, attackers have many ways to enter a factory network. In this case, because the system uses more fast protocol, it's easy for attacker to sniff and analyze the traffic. After that, attacker can perform command injection to HNI or PLC. It may result HNI getting wrong information or PLC executing unsafe command. Uh, okay, this is our first demo. We will present how we use MailSec protocol to perform command injection to uh, Mitsubishi PLC. In this video, the upper picture is HNI. It shows the state of uh, Mitsubishi PLC. The lower picture is a field device. We can see that the light position, the light position is mapping. In normal states, uh, the light will change every 30, sec 30 seconds. Wait a moment. Okay, the light is changed. In this demo, we will try to use the right command to modify this parameter. In fact, it, this is similar, similar to the static attack. As we know, hacker can modify the cycle type of device from high speed to low speed, then back to high speed. Oh. Sorry, the video. Uh, here we, we have detailed attack traffic. In fact, MailSec is a private protocol. We had a written plugin for Wireshark. In the left figure, we can know we perform right command and uh, from right figure, we can know we modify the parameter to 10 seconds, to two seconds, to eight seconds, and so on. In the next demo, we will present how we use made in the middle attack to perform command injection to the HNI. Okay, now uh, in this video, the top picture is show PLC and the HNI, and the lower picture is field device. The PLC can detect detect the volume of water then respond data to the HNI. From HNI, we can see that the value is about two liters. Now we use, now we use either cap tool to perform made in the middle attack.
Sorry, the video is okay. Pass. Uh, then uh, we successfully sniff the more bus traffic between PLC and the uh, HNII, and uh, we try to upload. We try to upload spoofing traffic. Now we can see the HNI showing that the value is about 20 liters. This could really cause employee to make a um, harmful decision. To talk about other attack, we often see a lot of IoT or ICS device have web service. Sometimes this has a powerful function and the user can execute almost any command. If, the, if this web service is compromised, a taker can have uh, opportunity to control the factory network and the PLC. This demo is based in an actual, actual live environment. Because layer PLC, PLC web service use default credential, attacker can upload layer PLC directly. After attacker log into layer SNIDA PLC web service, he can Insert, he can insert a new command and then set, set, set an address. After clicking uh, the play button, the value is modified modify from zero to about 20 seconds. Based on the address mapping, a file device may operate abnormal. Normal. Now I'll hand this talk over to Mas. He will introduce uh, energy and the oil, oil parts. Okay, thanks, Yanting. Um, back to here, uh, thanks, Yanting, for the water status treatment. Also, and now I will going to quickly to um, introduce the some energy status and the um, oil and gas status. And as you see, the list status on um, this power generation system use the many, many like system like some OS or Windows SP, and also use the some um, redundant control network interface RCNI, and to try to control this um for the very large power generation systems and however in english english power systems we know um it's very like systems so the many many attacks will attacks that happening here uh, coding while well, penetration testing or as good assignment and then we find many uh, network service attack on the, the printer the pi server the switch the um, some os and the uh, windows sp there are many um known and one day vulnerability can be exploited by attackers and also we have some uh, uh, very small scenarios that they more like to. And also it's a second one power um, 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 systems is power, power, a backup power, power generation systems. And we know it's very large system because so uh, usually the power industry, power plant usually have uh, some backups power systems. And also in this power um, backup system, you will see the, the, in the left side the control room, the Windows 7 and Windows devices in history and the HMI, um, Offline as we it's based on Windows 7. Of offline is are already been legacy things and on uh, Microsoft and already not um up to date this uh, will be well it's no longer update this this um Windows as um Windows um Windows um systems. Now so in this um power generation systems they use the GE um EGD UD, uh, protocol based on uh, UDP traffic and also they try to control a very um, large scale the uh, controller and the field devices about the power generation. So also in, in these backup systems and also have some um, vulnerability and some attack rates about network service attacks like, like such as um a TV server or um, um, the switch or you know, history or a uh, printer, HMI. And offline, if attacker can tr um, successfully compromise those um, devices like a history and the HMI, they have the opportunity to take over to control the, the control network service and control network devices. It is a very high opportunity to try to control this. And also about the NTV server in the, um, the power systems, um, if the attacker can try to perform the wireless attacker, try to compromise NTV, serv NTV service, and they can change the time and in the whole traffic network and will make, make some um, the, the time on um, is 10 sync, um, 10 sync error and they could try to some um, and some, some incorrect GPS time to make some hang pad on this. And also, 
we can try to some perform some demo like on on, on, on a patch to light he vulnerabilities in legacy systems such as Windows XP, Windows 7, and some OS, which allow the attacks to perform our uh, RC attacks. And this one is um, we we summarized this um last two years ago, very famous um on vulnerability we call the blocking or RDP attack attack Windows on RDP service. And also in the right side is uh the I just scan the service we run it. And in, in the left side is a um, Catalina's try to attack and compromise devices. And we use the Catalina's try to use the uh, Morris, some- You have three attack. minutes. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, um, some try to try to um, show some attack um, scenario and try to perform the block tip attack and set it up at host and then we quickly go through legs and the attack can choose the target and set a payload and try to explore it. And exploit it, and then I can try to get the privilege about this and um, um, the list systems uh, with the um, Windows RTP um, vulnerabilities. So you will see the left side here. They will try to get a privilege here and make sure this Windows Server 2008 is your machine, and you already compromised it, and you can try to shut down the service you want. So you will see this demonstration will be shut down here. So in that time, the attacker already can compromise that, and also. Our next um uh, next um potential risk is ransomware attack, but based on the time is not enough. So I will um, um overlook this and uh, this, um, this demo, and we will show this time sync attacker volume TV server by GPS spoofing, and we based on the, the hacker IF code. And here you will show this demo. It's based on it's based on um the attacker view and the hacker IF, and you will see here and link the right side is a GPS machine, it's GPS tight. And we based on hacker Apple try to attack and try to compromise these time machines. And we already set and we set the, the um, GPS spoofing um, to spoofing traffic with hacker Apple machine and just and link to um, one to one or two to manage and they can try to and they can successfully modify the GPS time. If you will see the here time and time wrong here and the location, and we try to modify this and successfully successfully modify the time and location and Remote swipe precision. So he can he, he, this way this can have a huge impact on the, the, the power industry. And also um, we also can perform the USB attack to try to disrupt the operation. We perform the physical attack if the attack can some um, opportunity to touch the physical devices like a maintainers. So as an attack, we use the this better USB bug mounting to plug it into the, the Windows machine. And this in Windows machine just um we can um, run some script. And also, uh, back, back guys, and we can and try to use this attack script from the some um, attack parallel, and we can success, success, successfully um, bypass this authentication and get a Windows uh, user machine and privilege. So it's Windows Seven machine also work on the Windows Ten, and also we can dump some memory from the Active Directory according to our real assessment. And this is uh, some screenshot here. And also, let's talk in this part of our um, quickly go through the common defense strategy for security access and environment. Morris, uh, Morris. about the net, yes, I know. Your time is up. Can you can you wrap up in a minute? Is it okay? Possible? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm no. I'm this part is um, best practice for access security and this is about the uh, network segmentation, which patch and trust list and hardening your critical asset and uh, some expansions. And also I want to highlight most part is uh, network segmentation because all of them is a big intranet about IC, real ICC and environment like China, like Taiwan, USA and Japan, all the factory community, it's a big, big, big intranet, but it should perform a network segmentation. So you, to, you, you should need to do the segmentation or micro segmentation to prevent uh, something that can um, later move into your uh, the network. I think it's the most important part you should need. You should do some uh, network traffic and network segmentation and trust it allowed and um, many things about your security, your your access environment. And um, I think um, this is my, my presentation. I thank you for listening and I'm sorry for that. It's time enough and thank you.